Spantec has been extremely instrumental in helping the shelter. Um, financially, we depend on fundraisers, we depend on donations, and having someone like Spantec, we know that we can count on them. They've always come forward for us. Kind of a safety net. They have, they've been there. They're, they're not only a wonderful supporter, but they're friends. One of the reasons we work so hard here is to be able to dump money back and, and funds and resources back into the community because we care about the community. This is where we live, this is where our children live, so it's very important to us. The next day after the flooding, we were here, um, myself and a bunch of staff were here. A couple hours later at 5.30 in the morning, because we left here about 3 a.m., um, to just kind of survey the damage and get a game plan. What do we have to do? Lisa Held from Spantec came over, and she's a beautiful woman anyhow. You know, nails, hair, she just looked to the nines and she jumped right in with that nasty, dirty mud everywhere, was wiping things down, was sweating outside. It was so hot that day, um, in and out of complete chaos and disarray, and she kept people calm. Um, and she supplied lunch for the entire staff and the volunteers that were here. Just, um, she has the biggest heart, and she's a huge animal lover. And Lisa's, she's just amazing to us but it completely devastated their facility. And I had no idea until um, I got up there the next morning, I, I went in to go help, because we actually did not have electricity over here at Spantec that day. So I came in to go to work, and then when I saw that, I thought, well, I'm just gonna go on down and help them. So when I got down there, um, they had lost every, I mean, almost everything. They lost all their computer systems. Just anything that was ground level was completely penetrated and the place was covered in sludge. So when I got down there, the staff down there is awesome. And Connie, the uh, she is an awesome leader. When you look at animals, animals really cannot, I mean, they can fend for themselves, but most of the animals that they have are, are re, uh, animals that people have uh, picked up and brought in that have that been accustomed to being fed and accustomed to being taken care of. And, and so they're really, they rely on us. They rely on us to take care of them. And so anything that you can do to um, help an animal it just, like I said, it warms my heart, it warms my heart.